Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structures of the first four carboxylic acids. You should then be able to describe what happens when carboxylic acids dissolve in water. And finally you should be able to describe the reactions of carboxylic acids with metal carbonates and with an alcohol. And remember that this material is for triple chemistry students only. In the last couple of videos we've looked at alcohols. I'm showing you the displayed formula for the first four alcohols here. We saw that if we react an alcohol with an oxidizing agent, we produce a carboxylic acid. So here I'm showing you the displayed formula of the first four carboxylic acids. The carboxylic acids are a homologous series. In other words, they all have the same functional group. And I'm showing you the carboxylic acid functional group in green here. Now, rather than drawing all of the individual atoms and bonds, Scientists often use a structural formula instead. So here I'm showing you the structural formulas of the carboxylic acids. In the exam you could be shown the displayed or the structural formula for a carboxylic acid and asked to identify it. So it's important that you learn these. Okay, we're going to look now at what happens when we dissolve carboxylic acids in water. In water, carboxylic acids are weak acids. I'm showing you ethanoic acid in aqueous solution here. In this case, ethanoic acid is ionizing to produce the ethanoate ion and H+. As you can see, this is a reversible reaction. That means that the ethanoate ion and the H+, can recombine to form ethanoic acid. Because carboxylic acids only partially ionize an aqueous solution, they are weak acids. That means that carboxylic acids have a higher pH than strong acids such as hydrochloric acid. OK, we're going to look now at two key reactions of carboxylic acids. The first is with metal carbonates. This shows ethanoic acid reacting with sodium carbonate. As you can see, we've made the salt, sodium ethanoate, and carbon dioxide gas. We've also made water. Now, all of the carboxylic acids react like this with metal carbonates. I'm showing you here the reaction between propanoic acid and potassium carbonate. And again, we've made carbon dioxide and water. And in this case, we've made the salt potassium propanoate. OK, the second key reaction of carboxylic acids is with alcohols. When we react a carboxylic acid with an alcohol, we make a molecule called an ester. We also make water. Esters are really useful molecules as they often have a pleasant smell, so they're used a lot in foods. I'm showing you here the reaction between ethanoic acid and the alcohol ethanol. We've made the ester ethyl ethanoate and you could be asked to name this ester in your exam. Now, there are a couple of key points about this reaction. Firstly, this reaction requires sulfuric acid as a catalyst, and again, you could be asked that in your exam. Secondly, this is a reversible reaction, so you might see this reaction in a question on reversible reactions. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on carboxylic acids in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.